I don't know exactly what I expected from the apocalypse, but it definitely wasn't this much interpersonal drama. Fine. You already said that. I'm Allison Sumner, a neuropsychology major in college and one of the few survivors of the zombie apocalypse. Last week, a bunch of stuff happened, and before I show you what happened next, I want to make sure everyone's caught up. First and foremost, this is Damien. This is stupid. I'm a scientist. What's the point of learning piano when I have a zombie plague to fend off? Super hot, right? Right. But my crush on him was almost as big as my hunch that he might be dead like my best friend Carl. This is true, I am in fact dead. Long science short, if a zombie can eat a steady enough diet of brains, they can appear and function mostly as if human. Otherwise, they hit the point of no return and permanently remain in the classic zombie shambler state. Which is all fine, except for the fact that someday I want kids and a dead guy doesn't offer much in that department. My foolproof plan to get Damien into bed and eventually into a two bedroom apartment with a pit bull named Hamish and at least two children is going swimmingly. Next up, this is Greta. We used to be roommates and really good friends, but then Carl shambled back on campus and she didn't take it well. He's not human. You don't know what he's capable of. And this is Professor Sherman, Greta and I's favorite professor and the head of the neuropsychology department. I'm sorry, Allison. I should have listened to you. What? Oh, right, the murders. Okay, so last week, two girls on campus were murdered, not by a shambler, but by a functioning zombie. Someone like... They think it was me. Shit, okay, yeah. So that wasn't good. Carl got locked up, and then I had to consider that maybe Damien was not only a zombie, but a killer, which sucked, but... I had a duty to my best friend to uncover the truth and clear his name before... What did you do to him? Right. Never one to pass up the opportunity to delve deeper into neurology, Professor Sherman decided to starve Carl of brains to study the point of no return. This meant I had a very strict time limit to find the real killer and save Carl from a fate worse than death. It's cruel. It's science. So when the second girl was murdered, I managed to prove Carl's alibi with a seemingly lost security tape. <sighs> oh, thank God. But even so, there was still a murderer on the loose. And though I'd gotten pretty far with Damien, I was now pretty sure that he was the killer. Probably get ready for my date now. Except wait, no, he wasn't. He was dead, sure, but he wasn't a killer, which would have been a relief, except that during my questioning, I kind of ruined our date. Good God, Al. Is this a date or an interrogation? Then I went to the lab because that's always where I go when I'm upset, and then Professor Sherman wandered in, and then you're dead and a murderer. And you set up my friend. Someone help! Help! Get out of here! 